Hey guys, so I want to give you a really quick review on this super awesome facial soap that I purchased at Marshall's. Was it yesterday? Yes, I think it was. And this is from a company that's upside down, I realize. Destiny Boutique. I have not looked to see if they have an online store. And you know when you buy something at Marshall's, you may see the product one time and never see it again. I don't know if you can find it on Amazon or whatever as far as this exact brand. But I did look it up on YouTube. I usually look up products on YouTube to review them before I buy them. But I bought this first, looked it up afterwards, and I only found one review. And it wasn't on the actual bar soap from this company. It was for like some kind of liquid. And the girl actually did not like it. But I'm going to have to say this right here on a scale of 1 to 10 is a 10, baby. And, you know, it takes a lot for me to say something is a 10. I'm very picky. And especially with my skin cleansing products because my skin is very, very finicky. And I have extra dry skin and rosacea. I do not have oily skin. And the charcoal soaps are supposed to be for mostly, I think, oilier skin. And I think this would be great for all skin types because, like I said, with my desert of a face, this stuff worked amazing. I used it this morning. It left my face so clean feeling. And when I say clean, I mean, I've had stuff make my face feel like clean before, but this really made it feel like clean like I've never felt before. And um, it has a gentle smell of peppermint to it. It is a black bar soap. It's not gritty like charcoal that you would use on a grill. Uh, this is activated charcoal, and it's mixed with other ingredients, which I'm getting ready to flip it over and show you. It makes the claim to be the best facial soap ever made, and they may be right. It is 100% great, that's for sure. Um, it is cruelty-free, so apparently no bunnies were harmed in the making of this soap. And there's a little stamp right here that says, a Natural Ingredient Resource Center Truth and Labeling Pledge. So they've taken some kind of pledge, and I'm so glad they did so anyhow we're gonna flip this on over and uh, the label that it tells you to read uh, the ingredients sound complicated but they're really not sodium co cocoa weight focus focus you feigned there we go uh, it's just coconut and then the sodium palmate it's just palm then it's got uh, some silk fibers and peppermint activated charcoal and charcoal is really good for detoxifying and things like that. I mean, that's what they use uh, to filter water to get impurities out. And that's also what they give you if you eat something horrible and they need to give you charcoal to make you uh, not be sick from, like, food poisoning and stuff, if I'm not mistaken. It's some kind of charcoal drink. So, I mean, charcoal is really good. Uh, anyway, it unclogs pores, removes impurities, removes dead skin, and it's handcrafted with love. I love that. And I paid $5.99 compared to $10. Now, I know that Lush carries a product called Coal Face or Charcoal Face that is a charcoal bar soap. So, you might try that. And I'm sure there's, like, independent sales people on Etsy that probably sell a lot of these. I'm going to open this and show you really quickly the actual bar itself. Look at this young bride while I do that. I don't know why I get these bridal magazines in the mail. I do not subscribe to them or pay for them, but cool. Isn't she lovely? She looks like she's going to be really happy with her wedding day. Anyhow, so this is what it looks like. And you'll see that there is some residue on the box. I need to actually store it in a little plastic container with a lid, but um, I did not use a white... I don't know why this is not focusing properly. Anyway, I did not use a white washcloth or anything i don't know if it would stain it i know that the, the lather that it has does have a black tint to it but it doesn't make your face black charcoal -y and black i wouldn't mind if it did i mean it just rinses off but this is kind of stuck in the box it looks like it isn't but it is lodged kind of down in there and i don't want to rip the box apart on this video i will do that later you don't need to witness such a thing but anyway it looks like it would be really grimy and gritty and dry but i will assure you i'm going to rub my finger on it and you'll see there's nothing there so because of the oils in it and stuff and tea tree oil is a good bacteria killer so it does clean your face really good and I absolutely love it there she is again I'm trying to close the box and here comes the cat 
Anyhow, so yeah, I would absolutely suggest trying this. And like I said, if you can't get this brand, no big deal. I'm sure there's other ones that are just as good. But I'm so happy I found this. Hopefully it'll last a while. And uh, I'll probably use this all over my whole entire body because, hey, if my face is feeling firm and clean and fresh, I want to feel that way all over. So, yeah, I'm very, very, very impressed. Chad has not used this yet. I think he's a little bit skeptical, but I went ahead and just went for it. And I'm so glad that I did because I usually use Olay, and I do use my Olay uh, 7 Effects Total. Is that what it's called? I'm ashamed of myself. I don't remember. But anyway, I use it constantly, and that's all I use because I, I'm really sensitive because of the rosacea and stuff, so I can't use a lot of products. I stick to one thing, and that's the Olay. But honestly, this cleansing bar is better than any cleansing bar or any kind of facial cleanser, period, be it foam or anything else I've ever used. So you certainly want to give it a try. Again, I would suggest it for all skin types. My face feels firm and clean even hours later. I'm very impressed with it, so there you have it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here and let you guys go. But I just wanted to tell you about this nice little product. So, that's it guys. Until next video.